Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thanks so much for watching today. Let's talk about some empties. It's weird. My <laughs> I left my rings in a little dish in the kitchen. <laughs> I just finished making dinner and I was like, this feels weird. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I hope you're having a great day. Let's talk about some empties. I have very few makeup items. They're kind of like the expected makeup items, not like the unexpected makeup items, but let's talk about those first. Um, I do have a lot of mascara, and I don't know that they're officially empty. I just had them open too long, and I'm kind of worried to keep using them. Uh, one of them is this. This is the Lash Princess. This is the Curl and Volume Mascara from Essence. This is a $5 mascara. I actually think it's really nice. The one thing that I like about it is the brush. It really reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It has kind of that nice fluffy feel to it. I get a lot of volume from this, but I feel like I have to build it. It takes like several layers, but once it gets going, it's fabulous. I didn't find that this smudged or transferred on me, but I could never use the one, what's the one in the green tube, like the, the lengthening one, because that one ended up smudging. I think this is a great affordable mascara if you happen to be looking for one. Another one that I just can't keep around anymore, and I'm just, I don't need any more mascara at the moment, but this one was so much fun. This is the Voluminous Mascara, but in the shade Burgundy. Oh, I love this because it's not black, it's burgundy. And when you build it up on your eyes, again, it has that same sort of, you know, more traditional mascara wand, which I really like, but it gives a little bit of individual, unique on the lashes without being too like bright purple. I like that a lot about it. I haven't tried the green or the navy, but I like that there is colored mascara at a drugstore price. And I do like the Voluminous formula, but if I'm gonna buy it again, I'm definitely getting another burgundy or I'm gonna get a navy or I'm gonna get an emerald, like whatever the colors they have. That is really exciting to me. And I have tried other mascaras that are colored and either really expensive. Like I remember Benefit used to have a blue one from their, their That's Real line. But I don't want to pay $24 for blue mascara because I'm not going to use it every day. I want a black mascara or like a espresso colored mascara. And if I want a fun colored one, I want one at this price point. The last mascara that I really, really, really enjoyed is from Beauty Pie. This is the Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara. Oh, this is such a beautiful mascara. Another one of those wands that is, you know, it's not the rubbery wand, it's not the silicone wand, but I feel like these sorts of mascara wands work best for me because I tend to have short lashes that are kind of um, downturned and they don't hold a curl. And it, it takes a lot to get some good mascara going on them. I like this one a lot. Um, I've had this one open for quite a while, more than it's three to four months, I need a new one. This was one that built beautiful volume and length without being too much. It never flaked, it never crumbled, it never smeared, it never smudged like. And I feel like the next time I make a beauty pie, well, I have so much mascara open right now, I don't need another one, but I would be willing to get another one because this is a great formula. The last thing that I finished up is from Benefit. This is their Precisely My Brow Pencil. I had the shade number three. I feel like maybe I needed three and a half, like 3.5 would have been a better color for me because this one is definitely, it worked but I felt like I never got a natural looking bra. I felt like where I had more gaps, you could see the color more and it wasn't exactly right. The other thing that I do like about this is the spoolie is nice. Some spoolies are too soft, some spoolies are too hard. I feel a little like Goldilocks, it's too hard and it scratches my face. It's too soft and I can't actually distribute the product. This one has a great spoolie on it. Um, I don't know that I need to pay the, what is it, $24 for whatever this is. I don't know that I'm in that $20 price point. It's good if I got it in a set or I got it half off, I'd definitely get it again, but I'm not gonna pay full price for this pencil. Just my thoughts. I know it's some people's holy grail. It's a good pencil, but I have other, another pencil that is my fave that every time I run out, I get another one. It's the M Cosmetics uh, Fine Liner eyebrow pencil, which I love. All right, uh, this kind of falls into makeup, but it's not actually makeup. I finished one of the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. There's there's very little in here, but now I'm at the point now where as I'm pumping it out, all it does is kind of like splatter and I get giant drops and it's inconsistent and I'm just not gonna worry about it anymore. This is, I think, the second bottle that I've gone through. I really like it. I feel like it does a really great job of keeping my 
face in place um, and it also gives a nice dewy look which I really like I like that it's a more affordable one I don't know that I'm running out to get it because I do have a lot of other I'm looking over here I've got a ton of other setting sprays I need to finish but this is a good one I think that when I get through everything I'd be willing to get this one because it is slightly illuminating it is a really pretty finish I'm gonna quickly go through the hair products that I finished I finished two of these I love this. This is my favorite and it's what I use to keep my hair kind of not too frizzy. It defines my curls. It dries kind of crunchy. If you have curly hair and you like things with a cast, this has a cast in it. But the nice thing about it is once your hair is completely dry, you can kind of scrunch it, break the cast and it's not so absolutely like wet looking even though it's dry it still looks wet I feel like this is really nice and even like second and third day hair I can get my hair slightly misty in the shower where it's not like wet wet mix a little bit of this with water kind of tame down the frizzies on the top you know take some of my curls and go through and give them a little bit more definition and then they dry day two day three this is great and it's so affordable I get it for six and a half dollars I think it's Sally's so worth it and it's 12 fluid ounces I love this. The other products I finished up are from Briogeo. This is their Scalp Revival Charcoal Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo and their Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. These came in a duo set at the holidays and I picked up two of them. So I have finished one. It takes, okay, the longer my hair is, the faster I go through these, but since my hair is still kind of short-ish, eight ounces will last me about six months. Um, and that's because I exfoliate once a week and I deep condition once a week. If I was using this as a daily shampoo, I don't even wash every single day. I wash my hair mm, every two to three days sometimes, depending in the summertime a little more frequently. <laughs> but in the winter, I can go three, sometimes four days because my dry hair doesn't always like to be over stripped. But what's great about these is that they're hydrating, they're nourishing. Um, I get a really good exfoliation with this. I've tried so many other more affordable brands of exfoliators, and this has the right amount of scrubby. It has a kind of a minty tingle. There's the charcoal for that extra level of like clean, 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 clean. I love it, and this has been really nice. I am trying a, I do have another set of these in the shower, but I did pick up a new to me uh, brand when I was at Sally's, and it's the brand by Gabrielle Union. And I forget what it's called, but I have the conditioning mask in there. And I'm curious to see if I can find a more affordable because these guys are really expensive and they normally don't come, you know, in a set of two like this for 50 bucks the holidays. <laughs> you can only get them at that time. These are kind of expensive. So I'm looking for less expensive alternatives, but I don't know. I just keep coming back to these. These are great. Let me show you the body care I have finished up. This I, I found in a drawer. <laughs> It's so sad. All right, so this is the Chemistry brand hand chemistry. This used to be my favorite hand lotion. The Chemistry brand is no more, sadly. Um, it's a brand that was from the Decium brand, uh, like the Ordinary Decium, um, what is their Hylamide line? They had a whole bunch of lines um, and they were all kind of made by the same chemists, but they had different price points and they focus on different things. And uh, the Chemistry brand had beautiful foot and hand lotions, they had great um, exfoliators. They had a giant jug of like hyaluronic acid for like your whole body, like a gel that you could just pump out in a giant container and just like slather on. I'm sad that they were condensing down their brands and they got rid of this, but I found this in a drawer and I realized when I opened it, it's past its prime, but I used almost all of it. This is really good. They don't have it anymore. I'm kind of sad. I like this so much. I, for years, used to love the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, and that's $45 for eight ounces. And I don't know, has the price gone up? Every, I feel like the price has gone up for everything. But when I found this, this is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow. It smells almost exactly identical. I feel like the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro is slightly more like intense in scent. Not in a bad way, because I love the way that it smells, but this, the scent is so close, so close. And I feel like if the Boom Boom Cream is a 10 out of 10 for like cosmetic elegance, this is like a nine, maybe nine and a half. It's close, it's not exact, but I'm getting this for like ten and a half dollars, eleven dollars at Ulta. And then if you can ever get it on sale, it's even less. So I quit buying the Boom Boom Cream and I've just been buying this and I've been super, super happy. This next product I didn't actually finish and I gave myself permission not to finish it because it was such a struggle. 
And it went from like staring me in the face and when I finally put it in my empties, I was like, oh, I feel so much better. I had guilt every time I saw it. And it's not even that expensive, but it was just like, everybody loves it and I don't, what's my problem? It's this. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Nourishing Body Polish. All right, I love their body cream that comes in this container that's their nourishing body cream. Oh, so good, the scent is amazing. It really reminds me, if you know any of the Atelier colognes, it reminds me of Orange Sanguine. It's not exactly, but it has a lot of similar notes. It's really lovely. This one, ugh. it normally smells like it, and it smells really good, except for this one I've had for so long that now the oils and butters in here are bad. Um, I'm sure it would still exfoliate just fine, but it smells like it's gone off. Um, so I'm gonna put the lid back on, but you can see I got like maybe two thirds of it done and that last third. The problem I had with this was just the formulation. And it, let me just read you what it says right here. It says to, in the shower or before a bath, massage a generous man handful onto dry or slightly damp skin. When you're done exfoliating, you're gonna rinse with warm water, lightly pat dry. No moisturizer will be needed. Use once or twice weekly for beautifully smooth and soft skin. The reason they say no moisture is needed because it doesn't all emulsify and just like the minute the water hits it, it doesn't like turn into like a, a different texture and slough off. It's like a layer on my skin. And every time I would put it on and I would be exfoliating arms, legs, wherever, and I'd step under the water and I'd, you know, be doing this rinsing, 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 trying to get it off. I could still feel like there was a layer of, of literal butter. <laughs> it felt like I was like, like, like there was a slab of butter between my palm and like my, and I was just wiping more butter on and I could never get it all the way off. The only way for me to get it off was to use soap to get it off. Was I still hydrated after? Yeah, but I kind of hoped it would just wash off on its own. And then there was a lot of oily residue in my bathtub and I needed to scrub the tub every single time or the next time I got in, whoosh, I would fall. <laughs> and I was like, no, <laughs> no. If you love this, hooray, glad you like it. Didn't work for me. I always felt like if I took my nails to my arm and did this, I always had like whatever the hydrating oils, butters that are in this product, like up under my nails, I was like, ew. I don't want to be squeaky clean, but I also don't want to have like a layer of ooey gooey on me. And that's what I felt like with this. So texturally, it was a no for me. It was very oily in my shower. I liked the way it smelled. I liked the way it made my skin feel because it made it really soft. It just never really rinsed all the way off. That's why I gave myself permission to pitch it. Let's talk about some skincare. And I'm kind of looking at these going, are these really skincare? Is it makeup? It's not really makeup, I don't know. I finished an entire Laneige lip sleeping mask. This is in grapefruit. I love the smell of the grapefruit one. I end up finding this at Marshall's because I don't think I can get grapefruit at Sephora. You can get grapefruit if you're buying it internationally, like from Korea or something, but I love this. I'm halfway through my apple lime, which I do love. The other lip product I have is from Aveda. It's their lip saver. This came in a little trio of products. My mom gave it to me. It was like a hand I forget what their hand lotion is. They had a foot lotion and then they had this in there and they were all like little travel sizes. This is the full size and it's a nice product and I used it up, but I don't feel like this is one that I like, ooh, I need another one. I feel like there are other lip balm products out there that I prefer more. I like that I don't need to stick my finger in this to apply it, but I feel like I would be just as well served using a Burt's Bees as I would this. It's not quite at this level, but it did a good job. Looking at this, I've gone through quite a few cleansers. I finished the Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. This is so nice. Um, I've had this for so long, there's so many water spots on it. Um, but I liked, it's a, there's, oh, there's a little bit left. It's like a clear gel and it's not stripping at all. I was kind of trying to decide, do I want to get more of this or do I want to get more of the matcha cleanser? What is it from Crave? I forget what it's called. Anyway, theirs is also a jelly, but it's kind of like a pale green color. They're both really easy on the skin. They don't over strip my skin. One thing I'll tell you, this is easier for me to get my hands on because I can just go down to my local Ulta seven minutes from here and pick one up. It's a little bit more expensive than the matcha hydrating cleanser from Crave, which I really like as well. I think that's $18. This is in the low to mid twenties. Um, but they have like similar amounts. This has 3.38 ounces in it. I think we're getting like almost three and a half in the one from Crave, but Crave is only available through the Crave website. Anyway, great product. If you're looking for something that lightly foams but doesn't overstrip, 
you might actually really like this. I do love a lot of Peach and Lily products. Another cleanser that I finished up is this one from Agency. This is the Cloud Care Cream Oil Cleanser. I feel like it did a really good job of kind of, you know, in the shower first thing in the morning. I didn't really like it that much to take my makeup off. It says it's a makeup melting glow restoring cream oil wash. Maybe if you wear less makeup than I do, if you're not wearing bright red lipstick and a lot of eyeliner and mascara, I feel like it did good with like face like powder, foundation, concealer, eyeshadow. But the minute I always struggle to get a bold lip off with this and eyeliner and mascara. So this I put in my shower and I would use it first thing in the morning and it was beautiful. If I really wanted to get everything off, I'd have to do a first cleanse and then wash it off with a face muslin and then go for a second cleanse and wash it off with a face muslin. That would get all of my mascara off. But if you don't wanna do a double cleanse, I don't know that this is gonna get it all off for you. One that does get rid of all of my makeup on the first go is this. I have another one that I have open right now. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off. It's just kind of like a makeup melter. It's a balm. I really enjoy this. I like to get them when they're on sale. Um, I picked one up from Ulta. I think it was one of their bonus specials during their uh, 21 Days of Beauty. I got it at half off. I was so excited. I found a duo of this um, at Sephora once and I got it during their sale. <laughs> So this has been something I continually repurchase. I don't know that I'd be willing to purchase it at its full price because I, I feel like for what it does, it does a good job, but I don't know that I want to spend that much on a balm cleanser when I can get one that's way less expensive. Um, I like the one from Benilico. Um, I like the one from Hamish and those are running kind of low 20s. This is what 30, high 30s, low 40s for this, and they're about the same you know, amount in each container. So I would get one that's a lot less expensive because I feel they all do a really good job. This one though, if I can get it on sale, half off, I'd pick it up every single time. Something else that I finished from Agency is their Cloud Care. This is their facial moisturizer. It comes in one of those containers where you press this down and product comes out through right here. Um, I started using this in the winter time still maybe it wasn't really winter it was winter where i lived i think it was early march when i started using it but we still had temperatures like at 10 degrees at you know 14 degrees it was a really kind of long winter and even at the early spring i was needing more moisture than this was providing now i have another one of these that i have open right now and i actually really like it i feel it works great on my skin now that the weather is a little bit warmer and i don't need a ton of really heavy moisture. This is supposed to be a moisture rich cream with light as air finish. It's supposed to be good for all day hydration. I feel like it does give hydration, but not in extreme temperatures. I feel like when it was really, really, really cold, if I didn't have a hydrating toner, hydrating serum, uh, and then an, uh, this was not enough to kind of give my face the hydration that it needed. But again, you know, in temperatures that are below freezing, Maybe you're gonna need a lot more than just one product alone can deliver. I finished three containers from Agency, one of their future formula. I feel like this is a really good formulation for me. And I did finish two containers of their dark spot formula. One that does have the hydroquinone in it, and I just finished this one right here. Every two months, they cycle me on and off of hydroquinone. If you are on a hydroquinone for too long, you can permanently damage your skin. And I didn't know that when I first started using it in 2020. I wasn't using Agency, I was using a different brand. But I like that Agency knows that builds it into my plan that I use it and then when my skin needs a break they send me the next formulation that doesn't have it and so my skin is constantly getting the pigmentation care that it needs because there's other ingredients in here um, this has um, EGCG green tea extract resveratrol kojic acid azelaic acid which is really good for my face when I need to not be having the hydroquinone when I'm on that eight week dose of hydroquinone they drop the EGCG and they put an eight percent in the other formulation. So I really feel like it's a great way for me to attack some of the hyperpigmentation that I have on my face. I've got a little spot here, I've got a little bit coming up here, and I've noticed since I started working at the dentist office, I'm in a mask, and the friction of the mask and then the warmth of my breath is starting to cause some pigmentation in through here. And the other women at the office who I work with, they're like, oh yeah, that's a thing. And I was like, no. So I'm gonna be using this stuff like for a long time.
almost done. Let me quickly go through the rest of the things that I finished. I finished this, the Uber Youth uh, Neck Chest Spray Super Lift Serum. I love this stuff. I'm on my second bottle of it. I think I'm already like a third of the way down. This is great. Every day, morning and evening, I'll wash my face and I'll spray like from here down and out of the shower from here down. This is great. It's very, not just hydrating, but I do feel like some of the texture that I had, I felt like I had kind of lines coming this way and more coming down this way. I don't see those lines on my chest as much. I don't know that this one's like less deep, but I don't know that it's getting worse. Anyway, love this stuff. A couple of other beauty pie faves. This is one that I just recently reordered, the Uber Youth Super Eye Energy Peptide Infusion Cream. Man, I think this is the fifth jar of this that I've gone through. It's amazing, I love it so much. And um, I really enjoyed this too. This is their Pure Oxygen Radiant Glow Moisture Infusion. It's a good moisturizer. Um, the one thing I discovered about this is this winter when my skin was really dry, really irritated, cracked, and I couldn't keep it hydrated enough. Putting this on there <laughs> made my skin sensitive. <laughs> so I will probably repurchase this to use summertime, fall, and spring, but probably not during the winter. I need something with a little bit more um, hydration and a little bit more occlusive, like their Plantastics. That's great. I love Misha's Time Revolution Essence. This one's different. I normally use the one in the clear jar, I forget what it's called, but this is their Artemisia Treatment Essence. The thing that's so good about this, this is a thousand times more hydrating than the one I used to use the original. So this is, I think, the second bottle of this I've gone through. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it so much when I found it on sale. I picked up two more, one for me, one for my oldest daughter, because it's out of the shower. I put it in a spray bottle and I just spray my face like five or six times and my skin just soaks it up right after I wash my face at the end of the day. Again, I spray this on. This is really great because it gives me a layer of hydration without being greasy. Last thing is something that my daughters finished. Um, they use the Sunbum SPF 50 face sunscreen. I'm trying to get them into the habit of using an SPF 50 daily. This is what they use because it's not as expensive as what I use. And I feel like once they're willing to buy their own, you know, $40 tube of sunscreen, they can buy whatever they want. But if they want me to buy it, it's gotta be a little bit less expensive. I think this is like 15 or $17 at Ulta. So I get them this and they like it quite a lot. This is also what I get my husband. <laughs> I guess I keep the expensive and kind of luxurious things for myself. I'm just trying to get them to wear their SPF. I would love to know what your favorite SPF is. I'm kind of hunting around for something new. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching today. I'd love to know what products you habitually repurchase and finish and go back to. Things that you've tried that maybe just didn't hit the mark for you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you again soon.